Hello, my friends. Most of you are familiar with John Wayne. We watch him a lot in a lot of Western movies, and most of the movies he's carrying a six shooter. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to make the holster for the six shooter. What I'm going to do is make a holster for this uh, single action revolver. And the type of holster that I'm going to do is similar to the one that John Wayne uses in most of his movies. And what I'm going to do is draw the draw the pattern for the holster on a piece of this cardboard. You could use paper, but I'm using what's called ram board. And this is left over from construction project. So with this it's a lot cheaper than cutting, making wrong cuts on expensive leather. Of course you got to make sure your gun is unloaded. And uh, we start by tracing the gun. And the uh, holster we want it to come right in this area and right around where the hammer is and I'm leaving this just a little bit longer Okay, again, we want to trace the trigger, trigger guard. Okay, and then this is where we want the holster to sit in. Now, this is going to have to be folded. The fold is going to be this area. We need to leave about a three-quarter inch. Okay, and then we have the fold, it's going to be on this side. And let's cut this down so it's easier to work with. Okay, the red is a cut line, so let's remove some of this cardboard. And then we need to fold on the barrel. This is going to be a right-handed holster for wearing on the right side. So that means the gun will set here and there will be a flap that will extend from this side. And let's sketch that in. So we're coming from here. We're going to remove this. And this will be the flap that will make the belt loop. This is a cut line. And same with this. We don't know how long this is until we have it cut out, so we're going to make it oversized.
Okay, we need more taken off here. This will flip down. Here's the base. <clears throat> There's one other piece of leather that needs cut. This will close like that. The back will fold. Makes the gun loop, belt loop. Then there's a strap that wraps around and rivets onto this back part that locks it all together. So I'm taking another piece of cardboard. I'm going to do something like this. And of course I'll make it symmetrical. And this is slightly oversized. So let's cut that out. And I won't cut this out of the leather until I have the holster part so because the leather is going to be a little th thicker than this ram board and right like this. These will be cut and riveted at those two points. And right there, here you can see the gun silhouette. You need about three quarter inch extended knot and that will be on both sides. Laying the pattern knot to do the best use. Minimal waste on this sheet of leather. I'm using a utility knife to do the cutting. To make it symmetrical, fold it in half and then trim the edges. Mine was pretty close, just eyeballing. Let's put together. Here's the base cut out, base of the pattern. Okay, and for right handed right side, the smooth side is going down. Okay now since I'm not uh, machine stitching this I'm going to hand stitch so I'm going to punch holes for the stitches and it's going to run this side from this point down. I'll punch the holes uh, through both. I have it marked and we will run this way. These are the punches that I'll be using and uh, for the straight run this works best. As you go around a slight curve we'll go with this one. If there are any sharp movement I'll use that double. Okay so I located this point. I'm going to start from here and work down they should come out to the, be the same number. If slightly off, I can trim the bottom. So that's why I'm starting at the top. It works best if you punch from the smooth side rather than the suede side. All the holes are punched. Now we're going to hand stitch with needle and thread. 
here I ran this under warm water, mainly here. See how it allows it to bend in this area here. It was curling the other direction. I'll have the whole thing soaked when I form it to the gun, but uh, for now this is going to allow me to stitch this a little easier. You want to punch it when it's dry, it cuts better. For the stitching, for the lacing, I'm using this artificial sinew. You can get this in different colors. I'm using the darker, darker brown. And two needle technique. Okay, we're going to start at this point at the top and work our way down. Now the first <clears throat> stitch, I doubled it and went through the hole twice because this is a tension point. Right there. Okay, now we're going to do our back and forth stitching. And you see I came out of this hole, we go back in with the other needle. Then pull both taut. This will make an amazingly strong tight stitch. This artificial sinew, it's pre-waxed. It sticks to itself, it will not rot, real tough stuff, and it'll make a real neat stitch. When you get to the end, you make the last stitch, same as before. Pull them taut. <clears throat> you can see here I'm one off, so I'll trim that. But now to knot this, what we need to do is back stitch about three or four, and that will tie it in. And we'll we'll do that with the crisscross. There, I back stitched this three times. And it's pretty tough on those needles. Now, if you look close, you see these aren't exactly the same. So what we do is we take this to the drum sander. And I'll use the corner of my belt sander. And that will even these out. Now I wrap the gun in cellophane. I used this packaging material and that's to keep the gun from contacting the moisture. Now I'm pushing the gun in and I'm pushing this down. I'll put a rivet at this point, a rivet at this point. These are stress points and if you can see the shape that I'm trying to give it. I'm trying to make it flat on the underside and the gun protrude to the top. This piece here will go on after this dries. While the leather is still wet, <clears throat> I left it slightly oversized and what I like to do is press this in and mold it 
and it softens this edge. And when it dries, it'll be hard and holding this shape. And it just softens the end of the holster. The holster had time to dry overnight. So it's nice and hard. Plastic's been removed off of the handgun. Perfect fit. Okay, now what we need to do is touch up any of the rough edges, and I'm using sandpaper to do that. Okay, next we're dyeing the leather to make everything uniform. And I'm using a saddle tan. We need to do the inside of the suede part because you will see this when you pull the gun out and leave it to dry. Now I'm taking some beeswax and what you want to do is on the edges you rub wax into it and then you take a burnishing tool and you work the edges with this. And what this will do is give you a real smooth uh, finish on your edges. Okay, now we need to attach this strap. Now we're going to place rivets at these two points. And you want to position the rivet so that it doesn't hang over the edge. There, through. Okay, now you have an anvil. Flat side goes to the bottom. And the punch has a concave. And that matches the top. Okay. You can see there it's pressed, just pressed into the surface. Okay, now we need one up on this end. Okay, the back to hold this strap on, we're using a different type of a rivet. And that's one that you can screw together. And the reason for that is so that we can take this off. And sometimes People like to put a decorative uh, piece on here. Now, John Wayne's holster was just plain. So let's punch holes. We already have it marked. Let's punch holes for this. These are uh, screw rivets. So they thread together. So we need to be able to punch a hole for that to fit. and that will fit. And now we need to position this and this is where you need to be a little more accurate on where you're going to place the hole or holes. So we'll set one first then we'll set the second one. We're putting the smooth rib side on the inside and the reason for that is we need to be able to turn this with the screwdriver. See that has a uh, screw slot. So when we put this on Holes marked plainly. Okay. 
and it's ready for assembly. Snug fit. That locks the belt loop together. Now we need to put a finish on the leather. A couple more holes we need. When the gun is in the holster, you need a leather strap to lock it in and that's going to go over the hammer and that will be attached into this area right in here. So we're going to punch a couple holes right in here. Okay now since we're putting a double strap through we're going to make this a double hole just like that through this so I should be wearing my gloves like that, and that will keep the gun from coming out. Now for a finish I'm going to use Neat's Foot Oil, and this is uh, what you would use on belts and uh, like saddles, and it does darken the leather. This will also protect the handgun that's in there. If you want a really nice finish, if you had made any of my medicinal hand cream, this has beeswax, lanolin, uh, it has coconut oil and olive oil all in here. And this will make a very superior finish for the leather. So we give this a good coat, let it soak in, and we buff it out. I've used this on my other holsters. Now this will have to set for a good while for all the oils and waxes to penetrate. just like a glove. Here is the finished handgun holster, the John Wayne model. And I think what I'll do is a little modification. I'm thinking of putting this right here. Here it is. The John Wayne holster. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye-bye.